Today I have been in the English countryside. It is a fine and green place, which is why I've come dressed in a bit of green. Anyway, CUP has been receiving one or two questions about what kind of camera that me and Tim use to make these videos, which is a good excuse for a video. It's the Canon C300 Mark II. Now, CUP said they'd loan me any camera, any camera from their inventory to make these videos with, and I picked this. Not this, this. Which, in retrospect, was completely daft to me. I mean, I should have picked something much more expensive, like a Red or Alexa. But anyway, here's five reasons why I picked this. If I can think of five reasons. Sorry, loads of flies. Let's get one thing out of the way first. The price is not so tiny, even if the fonts are. But look, this is me at a photography show explaining why both me and Tim used the C300 too for these videos. If you want good battery life, boom! Check that out. That's going to last me quite some time. This is the ultimate vlogging camera. And of course, what else do you need? 4K! It's the future. In fact, 4K is old tech. Jeez. It shoots 4K, probably the cheapest Canon with 4K mode that you won't complain about. It's got the dynamic range too. 15 stops of dynamic range in C-Log 2 for that cinematic look for um, YouTube. Well, we're Asian. Our hobbies are expensive gadgets and overdoing stuff. I mean, it doesn't really matter what gear you use. It is about the content. But posting videos on YouTube is a mix of culture and technology. So you kind of have to embrace the technology. You know, another important thing is autofocus. You might think, oh, if you're really serious about video, you manual focus. No, the future of video is with good autofocus. Canon have got that nailed. Nailed it. Tim uses continuous autofocus when he shoots me. When we're walking down the street and you're having to manual focus, it can be quite demanding. The AF sticks to me like white on rice, unless you prefer brown rice or quinoa, hipster. Having good AF is also good when you're shooting by yourself. That dual pixel AF is almost reason enough to get the C300 Mark II. When I'm filming bits by myself, I can rely on it most of the time to get the focus right and at a decent speed. But look, the Canon EOS M5 has dual pixel AF too. What is important is that this has the image quality to go with it. Oh yes, and ergonomics of course. I mean, when you're shooting yourself, you don't want to fiddle about finding a record button. This, there's loads of them. You've got a record button here, here, here. So when you're shooting selfie style, you just click that one or that one. Or that one, if you really fancy arts. The form is pretty likeable too, albeit a little bit tall once you've added the monitor and handle on. Buttons, dials, flaps are laid out in a logical way for easy access. The ergonomics, the handling on the C300 II is top notch. But it's good to have the buttons, the dedicated buttons, so you can quickly change settings. I mean, this one's got built-in ND filters, so you don't need to faff about with one on the front of the lens. Having internal ND filters is an incredibly useful function for us. Once you have it, you won't go back. We're clumsy, not just me, but Tim also, especially Tim. The C302 is housed in a more robust body than before, especially good if you accidentally step on it. Right, Tim? Uh, that's... <laughs> I, 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 I don't know, it's kind of odd when you brought your kids and your kids are like, I can see mummy's arse crack. Tim's gone red. It's, it's too Pan. much for me. There you go. But another reason why I picked Canon when it comes to grading the footage, when you're vlogging, especially if you're doing daily stuff, not me, Tim Pan does it, 
you want something which is not going to take much time to grade to get it to, to get it to look nice or not even grade at all you just chuck it in and bam it looks good and this the Canon I mean I can show you some footage non graded right now boom just like that just in a click that's how it easy is the grade of C log we want fast turnarounds with the videos. We don't want to spend ages grading, getting the skin colors looking good. And you don't need to because the files that come out of the C302 don't take much to make it look pretty. It shoots C-Log free, obviously. Rec 70 files look sweet too. And if you're used to the Canon look like everybody else, then you'll like the look that you get straight out of the camera. Well, another thing is that I'd shot with Tim before and he has a C300 Mark II. So it just made even more sense to have two C300 Mark IIs so that when you have footage from both, it's easier to match up. We're shooting with two yeah. C302s. One here, one there. And last reason is that it's lightweight. I mean, it really isn't all that heavy, even for a puny person like myself. You can hold it with one hand and have an A6500 in the other hand, just to prove a point. It might be over 300 grams heavier than the previous model, but it's still in a package that you can lug around for most of the day. Well, maybe only half the day if you use one hand. Light-ish in physical weight, but also an XFAVC inch frame code, which you could say is lightweight. Great for shoots that last bloody ages. You get files that aren't massive with 160 Mbps in 1080p 10-bit 422, 410 Mbps in 4K 10-bit 422, plus 12-bit 444 in 1080p, which is good for chroma keying. So there we are, that's my guide on what camera we use to shoot these videos with and why hopefully those reasons made sense because they didn't to me. I just made them up five minutes ago. Thank you very much. See ya. Bye bye.